Hey guys, I'm Miss Donna and I just want to say welcome to Bible class today. I am so glad that you took some time out of your day to spend with me and to spend in God's Word so we can learn more about Him. So before we begin, I have a question for you. How strong are you? Do you know how strong you are? Do you have muscles? Can you show me your muscles? Well, we're going to test that out. So in just a minute, I have a timer set for 30 seconds. And your job for 30 seconds is to do as many jumping jacks as you can do in 30 seconds. But you've got to remember to count how many you've done in 30 seconds so we can see how strong you are. Are you ready? Make sure you're standing. It's hard to do jumping jacks sitting down. Okay, here we go. You got 30 seconds. Get ready, get set, go. Okay, the timer started. Keep going. Don't forget to count. All right, you got this. 20 more seconds. Keep going. You're doing a great job. 10 more seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. How'd you do? How many jumping jacks did you do? Excellent job. If you have brothers or sisters, how many did they do? Excellent. So you guys are pretty strong. You're pretty strong. Um, what other things besides jumping jacks do people do so that they can get stronger and stay strong? Do they eat healthy foods like bananas? Do they exercise with weights? Do they run or play sports? Do they drink lots of water? More than likely, you probably answered yes to pretty much all of those questions because people do all sorts of things so that they can stay strong and so that they can get stronger. But have you ever thought about your hair? Does your hair make you stronger? Well, today we're going to learn about a man named Samson. And he is a pretty strong guy. And his strength has something to do with his hair. So we're going to learn about him and we're going to figure that out. So before I t start with the story, I want to talk about our big picture question. And this is probably the question that you have probably worked on throughout these lessons. Um, the big question is, what is repentance? Well, repentance is, the, is when you turn away from sin and you turn towards Jesus. So everybody stand up facing the screen. And this is how we're going to remember what repentance is. Are you ready? Okay, so repentance is turning away from sin and turning towards Jesus. Can you do that? Let's try it again. What is repentance? Repentance is turning away from sin and turning towards Jesus. So while you're listening to the story of Samson, I want you to look for two things. One, did Samson sin? And two, where do you notice repentance? Where does that happen in the story? As you know, Samson is the la is a judge, is one of the judges. Um, he is the last judge that you're going to learn about in this part of the, the series in the curriculum. And um, his story comes from Judges chapters 13 all the way through chapter 16. So again, remember, you're going to listen to the story. And as you listen, I want you to see, does Samson sin? And where do you notice repentance happening in the story? Okay. All right. Here's, here we go. The story of Samson, a hairy situation. The Israelites once again disobeyed God. So God let the Philistines rule over them. 
One day, the angel of the Lord told a husband and wife that they would have a son who would save the Israelites from the Philistines. God had a special instruction for their son. He should never cut his hair. The woman had a baby and she named him Samson. God made Samson strong. When Samson grew up, he saw a Philistine woman and wanted to marry her. He and his parents went to meet her. On the journey, a lion jumped out at Samson. Samson killed the lion. Later, some bees had made honey in the lion's body. Samson ate some of the honey and gave some to his parents. Philistine men came to Samson's wedding. Samson told them a riddle. Out of the eater came something to eat, and out of the strong came something sweet. The riddle was about the lion and the honey, but the men could not figure it out. They asked Samson's bride for help. She told the men the answer. Samson was angry and he left his wife. When he went back to get her, she was gone. Samson was so upset, he burned the Philistines' fields. This made the Philistines so angry. They caught him and tied him up, but with Samson's strength, he easily broke the ropes and escaped to another city. There, he met Delilah and fell in love with her. The Philistines gave Delilah money to find out why Samson was so strong. Samson told Delilah, if you tie me up with seven fresh bowstrings, I will be weak. But that was not true. Then Samson said, if you tie me up with new rope, I will be weak. But that was not true either. So Samson said, if you weave my hair into a loom, I will be weak. Another lie. Finally, Samson, and, Samson told the Delilah the truth. If you cut my hair, I will not have any strength. So when Samson was sleeping, a Philistine man cut his hair. Delilah shouted, Samson, wake up. The Philistines are here to kill you. Samson wasn't strong anymore. The Philistines grabbed him and took him away in chains and blinded him. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two pillars in their temple so that they could laugh at him. Samson cried out to God, Lord, strengthen me once more. So God strengthened Samson. Samson pushed on the two pillars and collapsed the temple. Samson and everyone in the temple died. But Samson had saved the Israelites from the Philistines. Well, what'd you think? Pretty interesting story, huh? Pretty interesting how someone's strength comes from their hair. Can you believe that? His strength came from his hair. But did his strength really come from his hair? Who actually gave him his strength? God did, that's right. So you can see that even at the very end when his hair was already cut and he prayed that God would please give him the strength one last time to do his will and God did that. So. My question to you is, did Samson sin? Absolutely he did. God told him not to cut his hair, and he didn't listen. And because he didn't listen, he lost all of his strength. But do you notice Samson repenting in the story? Absolutely. At the very end, when, God, when he prays to God to please give him the strength one more time to push those pillars down, that was Samson's way of turning from sin and turning towards Jesus. So you are absolutely right. He does repent after he sins. So one good way to look at this, one way to think about this story, is even though Samson's sin led to his death, God used that death, God used his gift of strength to save the Israelites from the Philistines. God did the same thing with Jesus. Even though, Je even though Jesus never sinned like Samson, Jesus 
he used the death of his son to save all of us from our sins. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close out Bible class with a quick prayer, and then I want to tell you a little bit about a little extra challenge that you can do, a little quiz you can take. Okay? Will you bow your head? Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for loving us and caring for us and for sending your son Jesus to die for us. We ask, dear Lord, that you would help us to make good choices so that we can continue to turn towards Jesus. We thank you so much for the food we have to eat, the clothes we have to wear, and the houses we have to live in. We thank you for our family and for our friends, and most of all, for Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord, for all that you do for us. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Who's up for a challenge? All right. So at the very end of this video, I'm going to give you a link along with a code that you can use to get into the link. And there will be several quiz questions over the story. When you're finished, you can go to the leaderboard and see out of all the kids who have taken this quiz about this story, who is number one. So how well do you think you can do? Give it a whirl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for coming to Bible class. And I just pray that, I pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. May, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. Always remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye. Quiz time. Test your knowledge. Go to kahoot.it, then enter the game pin. If you have more than one device, you can play at the same time against each other, and you can play more than once. Good luck!